Welcome back to Kara Jo Plans. Today I thought I would do a video that I haven't done in a long time since I was mostly going cashless for the summer. So today I'm going to be stuffing my cash envelopes and I have all of these gorgeous cash envelopes from Life in Envelopes and she can customize punch them for you. I don't even know if you can see the punch but they're punched to fit in my wallet and they are so awesome. She always picks out the most beautiful prints. She usually has sets of four. Some you can buy individually and some you can just buy the clear and I think she has clear ones with labels on now. But in her shop, everything is 15% off when you use my code CaraJo15. So let's get started stuffing these envelopes. First up is food and I budgeted $200 so we're going to do nine twenties and two tens. So let's count that. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120, 140, 160, 180, 190, 200. And that goes in my grocery envelope there. And that one goes with me in my wallet. And I do do Walmart pickup for my groceries. So when that happens, I pull the money out of here and put it back in my account to reimburse it. But it helps me stay more accountable if I already have the cash pulled out and named for something. It helps me keep from going over on my categories. So next category that I have is fuel. And I budgeted 175 for fuel. So we need six 20s. One, two, three, four, five, six. Five tens. One, two, three, four, five. And five ones. One, two, three, four, five. So let's count that. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And the reason I pulled out so many 10s for this one is usually when I fill up my gas tank, it is in the $30 range. So if I have a 20 and a 10, then I can usually match it up correctly. Next is my fun envelope, and that envelope is getting 50, so 20, 40, 50. All right, so fun gets 50, and then allowance for my boys. I keep this in the house, so I just have this in one of these clear zippered ones that actually came with my wallet, and I let the boys take money out of this as they want it to spend on stuff. So they get 40, 20, 40. And they really liked having this when we went on vacation because it was their money and they could buy whatever they wanted. So that's there. And then household gets 40, 20, 40. Oh, and I should mention that all of my envelopes are starting empty. I didn't have any carryover cash from last month because I really was going mostly cashless. So at the end of this month, if there's leftover cash, then I'm going to have to decide if I want to put it towards something special or carry it over. So stay tuned for the end of the month once I decide what I'm doing with my extra cash if there's any left over. Beauty, I'm budgeting 45, so 20, 40, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And this is one of my favorite envelopes. Look how pretty this one is. I love this one. So I'm going to put my 45 in there. And then my last category is planner supplies. And I should have one, 20, 40, 60, 80, $100 for planner. And I don't think, I don't have a label for that one. So I'm going to put it in my eating out and relabel this envelope. I've never actually pulled cash out for planner supplies, so I'm going to have to 
label a new envelope for that. But this one that says eating out, this is going to be my planner supply money for now. So I need to redo that. So here are my gorgeous stuffed envelopes. This one's really pretty too. And all my cash envelopes are stuffed for this two-week period. Some of these are the only amount that I'm going to pull out for the month. But stuff like groceries, I will refill at my next pay period. And stay tuned. So thank you guys for watching and have a great day. Bye.